name is Craig Stalker I'm with Advanced Treatment Technologies. Today we're going to do a brief video on the SA6014 IFM flow control. This is a sensor we use on the uh, top of our contact tanks to sense flow um, so our uh, system will come on and when, when um, flow goes away then the system will go through a timer and know when to cut off. So everything basically control wise on and off for the system is um, determined by this little guy right here. So we want to make sure that it's programmed correctly and that it's reading correctly. So I have my sensor here. Um, it's ready to be programmed. You can do this while it's being while it's installed. It doesn't matter. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to go to <clears throat> my initial setting here. Uh, this is where I'm going to put in the mode, uh, the media and the diameter of my pipe that my sensor's in. All right, my mode right here, media, and then, uh, let me get back there, right there, mode. Let's go to mode first. All right, REL, which means gas or water. All right, we're just gonna use water. To change this setting, I gotta hit the down button and hold it. And now I can switch between REL gas and liquid. We want to be on liquid. So I'm going to hit my circle and it's going to do a factory reset. Now it has reset uh, for liquid. Now media it should be on H2O, which is what it is there. Since that's the correct setting, I'm gonna go back. Now I'm gonna go down. And when I go down, I'm gonna be on diameter. So this is gonna be my pipe diameter. This could vary between inch and a quarter, two inch, three inch, four inch, all the way up. These sensors right here go up to two inch. Um, Um, whenever, uh, before the sensor is installed or before you program it, there will be no diameter set inside of it. So it'll say none here. If you press and hold your down button, it'll allow you to change it. And now I can change it in increments of five, uh, five one hundredths of an inch. So we're at, we have a two inch pipe that we're using. So we're going to go up to two inch. So now the sensor should read correctly. It's gonna be reading liquid, water, uh, coming through a two inch pipe, and it should be able to sense your temperature and your flow uh, correctly. Now to get out of this, I'm gonna hit my circle, circle, and I'm just gonna keep going down until I get to right there. You can see my gallons per minute is lit up. And right now it's measuring zero, obviously, because we're not installed. But now the sensor is correctly programmed and uh, should give us uh, a correct uh, and accurate readings as far as flow. So I will install this sensor back into the system here and we'll see what it looks like on, on the screen. All right, we're back with our HMI. Um, we've just uh, programmed our flow sensor uh, on top of our contact tank. Um, now we're going to go to come to our HMI. We've got to make sure they're both reading the same thing. The HMI scales a little differently than the sensor does, so you got to adjust that. And get them. Um, you can get them really close to where they're basically saying the same thing. So it's just a small adjustment in here. First thing I want to do is I want to go to the settings, all right? And my first settings page is going to be for my probe, which we're working with a flow sensor. So I'm going to go to the second page here. And the second page on top has your temperature. And that's the scale we use, 140 to 32. Temperature of the water, 69 degrees. The next one down, this is where your water flow rate's going to be. Uh, a lot of times uh, this 99 will be at a scale of uh, 127 which is a lot of times what we'll leave it at um, because we don't know exactly what the damage of the pipe when it's on site is going to be 
as you can see, the scaling for this is going to be off. It says 33 on the HMI, it's 25 on the sensor. So we are a little off. So for a two inch pipe uh, programmed in this HMI, it's 99 and zero, okay? And uh, that uh, fixes the scale and uh, it shows 25 here. Look up on our sensor, and it's at 24 and a half. So we're we're right on the money as far as our flow. Um, now, if we go back to our main page, as we can see here, your 25 gallons per minute. Uh, your system does recognize it as water is flowing, so <clears throat> it will continue to run. Once that flow uh, drops below two gallons per minute then um, it'll go into a timer, the 600 second timer. It'll run 10 minutes. And as long as that flow does not come back, it will shut off after 10 minutes. So as long as we stay over two gallons per minute, you now that two gallons per minute can be changed. I can put it to 10, okay? Now, uh, if it falls under 10 gallons per minute, my timer will start to shut the system off, so. Uh, we usually just program them uh, at two here at the shop, and then when we get on site, we'll make adjustments from there. <clears throat> so this is uh, this is uh, our flow sensor for our level one system. Um, this actual flow system uh, flow sensor goes on all of our levels. Um, it is the SA6014 IFM flow sensor. If you want to look it up online. Um, but we generally send our uh, manuals to all of our customers if they want to um, dive in a little deeper with it. Um, it'll do other things for you, but for our system, um, it takes our temperature of the water and uh, the flow that we're actually treating. And that's how, basically how we control the system. So um, generally, the, you don't have to reprogram th those things once we program them here at the shop, but every once in a while, we'll have somebody hit the wrong button and uh, so we want to make a video for, for everybody that may need it. So this is basically, that's our uh, flow sensor. So I uh, appreciate you uh, today and uh, thank you very much.